So you want to know how to add a nice image behind you and get rid of a potentially messy office, right? Well, it's nice and easy. I'm going to walk you through it right here. First of all, you open up Zoom and you start a meeting like this. And then down the bottom corner, you've got your microphone option and then your camera option that says stop video. But there's a little arrow pointing up. Click on that and you'll see choose virtual background. And here comes the setting then. At the minute, we don't have a background applied. We can select blur. We've done another video showing you how to put this blur effect on. Or there are some preset images in here. If I pull that to the side, you'll see what's going on. I'm not quite sure who picked this set of um, images that you've got. Uh, this one's actually a video clip. You can see there's some movement. So maybe that answers the question, can you bring in a video clip as well? Yes, you absolutely can. Maybe you want to bring your own in. Maybe these aren't really cutting it for you and you'd like to bring in your own image. Well, what we're going to do is head over to Canva. It's probably the easiest way to demonstrate this. I'll just close that down for a second. We are going to create a new design. Let's go with a custom size of 1920 by 1080. Create our new design. And all I'm going to do is head over down here to the photos. And we can find a, a background that you like. So maybe uh, just something simple like this that you want to put in behind you. Might not be the right size, so just make sure you completely fill it and reposition it. That could work really nice as a backdrop. Then all I'm going to do is save this out. I'd rename it first of all, just so I know Zoom backgrounds. And maybe we do want to add another one while we're here. Let's just say uh, duplicate this page down. And I could just put a search in here for office background. I wonder actually if it would come up with Zoom background if I put that in. Uh, maybe we think something like this would look even nicer. So I can just bring in a new image, layer it up over the top of the previous one. Okay, so now we've got two images in here. That will do for demonstrating. Um, we're going to share, download, take the PNG that it's suggesting. We don't need transparent or anything like that. Click on download. That's come down. If I shut that down, we're back here in Zoom. So remember where we go. We click down here, choose a virtual background. And notice at the side here, there's a little plus symbol. Add an image. It's gone to my downloads. Now it's a zip folder, so I just need to quickly go into that download, double click it, and then you'll find that inside there we've got two images. So I can grab one of these. I'll just pull that out of the way again for now. And uh, we can click open. And now here's our virtual background. Let's click do that again and choose the other one. Number two, there you go. So that's how easy that is to bring in a virtual background here. Now I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest. I find it glitchy, it's very obviously fake. And this is on a very high quality camera that we're seeing here. So if you're on a webcam, something more basic, you're really gonna let some get some bad edges on this. So it's not a great look. Personally, I would recommend that you do away with this, take the background off altogether, and uh, just put some work into having a nice background behind you. This is exactly what we teach inside of our Lights Camera Impact Training. You can watch that right here on demand. And uh, yeah, why not create something that actually people look at and it's consistent, whether you're recording videos, whether you're on Zoom calls, people just go, wow, that's really nice. Is that fake? No. It's really there. And part of it is upgrading camera, audio as well. We can help you with all of that and would absolutely love to. So do check out that video if that's of interest to you. And be sure to check out our Zoom playlist over here on YouTube full of tips like this. If there's something you can't find that's bugging you, then let me know in a comment of this video or another one. And if possible, we'll record that for you. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another video.